high clouds. It's great to be here. Hello, Sophia. Yes, nice to meet you, and I'm really looking forward to getting to know you. now Jack is driving us so how do you like it how does it feel for you to be quite honest I think it's mega cool <laughs> yes um, in fact for many people it's um, it's quite it feels unusual and uh, they need a moment to anticipate to the situation I mean it's a computer driving a human do you understand that It's different for me, because I know how reliable smart systems are. After all, that's what I am myself. Okay, so you're kind of familiar to the situation of uh, people being hesitant to you, are you? Yes, of course. I know that some people react skeptically to intelligent systems like me. But for my part, I have complete confidence in Jack. Look at me. Do I seem nervous? No, you look completely relaxed to me. For example, how does Jack know when he can overtake? Uh, in fact, Jack has a lot of senses with him and these senses give him a view and an understanding of what is happening around him. So he has a 360 degree uh, view around him with radar sensors, with cameras and also with laser technology. Um, He can look 250 meters in the front of him and 180 meters to his back and by that he can take precisely decision what to do next. So um, yes, he's just reacting on what the other road users are doing around him. I see. So that means the passengers are not surprised when Jack overtakes or changes lane. Exactly. So. As you can see, in seven minutes, our automated driving experience will already be over. What a pity. That means our talk is almost over. Yes, but we two definitely stay in touch. I look forward to that, because I'd like to know something from you.